Hi everybody, this is Josh. In this video, we're gonna look at a tool that I love to use. Makes my life a whole lot easier. It's called Cloud Convert. Let's check it out. So Cloud Convert is a website that you can make all kinds of file conversions for free. They do have a paid or upgraded service as well. Let's just look at the conversion types. So there's all kinds of archives so we can convert from 7-zip to a zip file, ISO, image files, DMGs, all kinds of stuff in here. There's some stuff in here that I don't even know what it is. We've got audio, so we can convert our audio from AIFF to MP3 to whatever else we might need. There's even CAD conversions in here, documents, so pages files, text, RTF, HTML, Microsoft documents, etc. There's even ebooks, fonts, different font file types you can convert in here. Lots of different image conversions. This is primarily what I use it for is for the image conversion as well as vector conversion. Presentations, we can convert Keynote to PowerPoint to PDFs to all kinds of other things. Spreadsheets, vector, SVG, WMF, EPS, AI, PostScript, PDF and even video formats. So this can convert all kinds of things to all kinds of other things, and it makes it incredibly useful. You can check out the pricing here if you ever need more conversions or larger file size conversions. You can upgrade to whatever you need, or you can pay monthly for unlimited file size, a whole bunch of conversions if you're doing a lot of conversions. It's really, really great because you can batch convert things. So if you needed like a whole bunch of images converted from, say, a JPEG to a PNG for whatever reason, or if you wanted to put in a PDF and convert all of the pages of that PDF to an image file, you can do that as well. So it's just a handy, very useful tool. One of the things that I really love about it is its integration with Google Drive. If you log in with your Google account, you can also open things. If you right click over in your Google Drive on a file, you can see open with and there is cloud convert. So we could open this Google drawings, for example, with cloud convert, and it will take our Google drawings file and open it right into cloud convert. I want to show you one of the things that I use this for the most, and that is getting vector graphics into Google Drive. I have some here that I've already converted and uploaded. Google Drawings is awesome and it's got a bunch of custom shapes that you can create, but nothing like this, nothing like icons. And you can't import, say, an Illustrator file or an SVG or EPS right into Google Drawings. But you can use WMF, which is the Windows metadata file, which is the file format that Microsoft uses for clip art. And I want to show you how I do this with Cloud Convert. So there's tons of different places you can find free SVG files. I found it works the best with SVG because SVG are very small file sizes and they're usually pretty clean as far as the information that's in them. They're a very simple file format. So I'm going to grab this Twitter SVG icon. Let me open it up here in Google Chrome. So this is the icon that I want to convert and open up in Google Drawings. So how do we do that? Well, let's go to Cloud Convert. I've already downloaded that SVG to my hard drive, and I can drag and drop it right into this website window here. And we can see there's our 004-twitter.svg. And if I click on the SVG file format drop down here, I can go to Vector, and I'm going to choose WMF, which is the file format that we want for Google Drive. So since I'm logged in, down here at the bottom of the website, you can see you can check this to save file to my Google Drive. And there's several other cloud storage services that are integrated with Cloud Convert. So I'm choosing my Google Drive, and I can simply click Start Conversion. And it will upload it and convert it and send it to my home folder. And there it is right there, 004 twitter dot WMF. Now in the preview icon, it shows a TIFF or T-I-F-F with a little image icon. But if we right click on this, open with and choose Google Drawings, we'll see our icon here now converted to something that Google Drawings can edit. There it is. I want to show you that this is not just an image like a PNG file. 
There's the bird, we can move it around. And here's the circle background for that icon. And we have a custom color right down here, and we can change that color if we want. So this is an editable vector image. So I'm going to copy this and continue working on my library I'm making here for myself of these social media icons. Let's do one more. Back to Cloud Convert, I'm going to grab my Facebook SVG icon here. Again, choose Vector, WMF. Make sure Save File to my Google Drive is ticked. And press Start Conversion. And we'll jump back over to my Google Drive so that we can see it when it pops in here. And there it is. Now these two I can get rid of because I've already added it to my new Google Drawings vector icon library right here, this document. There's our Facebook one. We'll right click on that again, open with, and choose Google Drawings. And there's our Facebook icon. I'll copy it and add that one to my icon library here as well. Now these are also in groups. So if you're having trouble getting to something like the background shape color, try ungrouping it with a control alt shift and G. So there's our icons now in Google Drawings, looking pretty good. Again, there's all kinds of file formats that you can convert from and to using Cloud Convert. You can also use the integration that's built in with your Google account and link it as well to Dropbox, OneDrive, or Box. I hope this was helpful, and if you have any tips on using Cloud Convert, let me know in the comments on this video. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.